Now nah, the network they vlog also. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so no, we we'll still continue for what we we'll stop. Yes, yeah, so news when this and I they fly for air. Mm -hmm. The trading one when this and I they happen for inside Nigeria as we be the talk and before the net so can cut us off. So the first one we we'll go first talk of the matter of uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, their leader when be Nancy Kano. Then we go still continue with uh, Igbo on Igbo matter on. I will done still break and small now now before network on still cut. They will go still talk about the Nigerian uh, authorities waiting then they talk concerning the news of uh, the kidnappers and the killings when they for inside the country when they, they show the world. So they said they won't ban them. They no want to make anybody. They no want to make anybody show any news again concerning with the things when they happen for Nigeria. How bandits till they kidnap for the village and also they how they till they keep people. They don't want to show them again. So now they don't ban them. So we go read and come out for now. But the first one we go take from uh, Mazin and the Kano own. I said the British uh, authorities, the British people, they come, don't come out. Can't say they don't come out now. Won't come support them according to their, the British High Commission. Yes, they don't come and come offer assistance to them. Now they need them back to the United Kingdom so that case goes go continue from that place. They say this matter so maybe for Nigeria they go for Georgia. They go first start to the Georgia from that place. How the Nigerian people take go kidnap them from Kenya without the authorities of uh, immigration and so on and so forth. So now we go like make we break and that for now so that we go know how they take give the information. So he starts he said the British High Commission offers a consular assistance UK law firm to take over, to take over Mazen and the Kano, the IPOB leader, in case. So the British High Commission has extended consular assistance to the detained leader of uh, the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Nnande Kano. He said also a law firm in London, Bidmark, seeks his consent to take up his case. So they need the consent so that then they will take up the case. So according to the punch news, waiting the punch news gather. So later make you not contact me saying our na fake news because now the news when then they, they bring come out now we they like make we break and to over. Now helping her now we they give them so that the words around us, our people go get the information of waiting they happen. Okay. So said they gathered on Thursday that Canon's Nigerian lawyer, Aloy Ejimako, delivered two forms to the IPOB leader. On Wednesday, during a visit to the office of the Department of State Service, where he is being uh, detained, he continued. He said, Ejimako told our correspondent, that is correspondent of uh, Punch News, that he, that the development would open up a new chapter in the trial of Kano, adding that the Nigerian government would be served with summons to bring him to the United Kingdom. May they carry and go back to the United Kingdom, where another case will be heard over the manner of the redemption to Nigeria. Over the manner when they take carry on of his redemption to Nigeria. So Nigeria government, they need one some of them for United Kingdom. Now may they send them the canoe back. Then from there they will first judge the case, how they take kidnap and go back to Nigeria before any other thing. He said, I went to visit him on Wednesday and went with two forms. One was the consular consent from the British High Commission required that he sign to consent to consular assistance. So Martin and the Canon need to sign this one so that he consent go day when he be said they will judge this matter for the United Kingdom. So there was also a form that he said uh, uh, his consul in the United uh, Kingdom, the firm is known as Bidmas, one of the largest law firms in the UK. He said the firms will open a whole new chapter of legality, including with filing of rights of Madamus against the Nigerian government in the in a UK court to compel it to produce Kano because his detention is illegal under the British law. Okay, so they need to produce them for the United Kingdom because the radiation when the way when they take hold is they under international 
law. So it's against the law. It's on. It's under them. It's against the law. So they did wrong. So they need to produce mass and they can go back to the United Kingdom. He said it was an extraordinary radiation, which is an international crime, by which a state kidnaps a suspect or a fugitive without the due process of law. They will be finding all this process in the UK and there is a prospect of the UK court assuming universal jurisdiction of extra territorial jurisdiction and reaching into Kenya so that they can arrest every Kenyan officer either authorized or not and every Nigerian officer involved in this case okay so they are going to arrest every Kenyan officer when it be say he involved for this case whether Kenya authority authorize them or not this is against the law they commit crime okay international crime so they go arrest all of them especially and also they go see arrest every Nigerian officer when he be say he, he, he hands they for inside this matter when he be say they kidnap Mazi in the he said the lawyer the lawyer wrote noted that the DSS collected the forms the DSS, they collect that form when it be said the United Kingdom when they write sent for, sent to them. So they collected the form saying they will first run them through the venting of the DSS legal limits. So they collect the form, they said they will first investigate and through their own legal limits first of all. He said, despite being told that he would collect them on Thursday, he had yet to be contacted by the government agency. Ejimako said during his three-hour meeting, the IPOB leader gave a vivid account of how he was abducted and flew into the country. He said, while quoting Kano, he said the IPOB leader was blindfolded and flew on a private jet without any extradition hearing or immigration process. He stated, Kano said he was flew to Abuja in a private jet on, when, on Sunday, 27th of June, 2021, from the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Nairobi, and that he was the, oh, the lone pass passenger. The blindfolded and carry and go say he was blindfolded and driven to the Temak very close to the plane without passing through the airport immigration. The plane departed Nairobi around 12 p.m. and around in the uh, arrived in Abuja in the evening. He said Kano was tortured and subjected to untold cruel and inhuman treatment in Kenya. He said his adopters disclosed to him that they adopted him at the behest of the Nigerian government. The people that abducted him said they were told by their sponsors that Kano was a Nigerian terrorist linked to Islamic Al-Shabaab, presumably Al-Shabaab, those terrorists in Kenya. He said, but after several days, when they discovered his true identity, they, they tended to treat him less badly. Despite that, they told him the feds committed to hand him over to those that hired them. According to Kano, no warrant of arrest was shown to him or even mentioned to him. And for the eight days, he was held incommunicado, nothing of presenting him before a court or transferring him to an official detention facility was ever mentioned, nothing like that. He was held in a non-script private facility and chained to a bare floor. Kano was interviewed for the first time in my presence by three DSS. That was the lawyer said in his presence by three DSS officers. The interview was revealing as it contained certain new allegations that were never heard of before. He said, but all the questions related or indirectly to his status as the leader of the IPOB. The council said despite his client or then he was in high spirits. No matter all this rubbish when they say they do, he still gets he on the high spirit waiting he still want. Now waiting he still want. Waiting in the talk for long now waiting in the talk because everybody, even the whole world knows that in their right of waiting in the talk, he know they wrong. 
Okay, so the Nigerian government make them prepare now. Mm -hmm. So make them prepare so that Uno go go answer the case for the United Kingdom. How not they kidnap and go that side? Okay, how not they kidnap and go Nigeria? So make them go answer the case, let the world know what thing happen because the women are take kidnapping. If maybe only God now when he be say stand with her, now for don't buy and finish. And I understand. So now so the matter be. Now maybe we enter a bohu matter. Yes, yeah, so the man when he come be say na he still be the leader of uh, uh -huh, Oduduwa area when he be say they still they fight for their own freedom. Yes, they still they let the world they know say they need their freedom. So this one I don't still come out because uh, the a federal government and the DSS now don't they, they don't declare Igbo who wanted just as they do unto Mazi in Nam the Kano. So now that they talk now say Igbo who they since when the uh, DSS when they send their secret agents go scatter in house, go keep people, go arrest and when they not see him, say they not see him since that day. Say they don't know where in day. And they uh, will remember when they do their interview. When they talk, say the people, the soldiers, when they send go Igbo house, say many of them said they know they hear English, not French and Bambara, which is Mali language, right? That they speak. So that gets something too when you go see Teluna. We discussed this thing for the other last video. So now the federal government has said that uh, Yoruba Nation uh, uh, RTV Sunday Adeyomi, aka Sunday Igbo, is trying to acquire a new passport. To flee the country, so the Nigerian government now say he, he, they find has he, he go the fans will take their new passport so that it go wrong come up for inside Nigeria. It added that the government had placed Igbo on the top list in order to facilitate his arrest. They don't put him to top for top list now. Declare and wanted now, and directed the security agency to apprehend him anywhere he is found. Say any place when they for see him, may they for catch him. Say they don't declare I wanted. When I say say for that country, nobody go feel. Now make suffer there for that for Africa now, because the government they not want me person tell they say that they wrong. And when all these people go stand up now to let them know, say what thing that they do no good. Instead, when they go try make they fix the 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 that is uh, the root of the problem. They no go fix him. They go they try how they go take the shop those people mass by force. Either by killing them or by arresting them or by causing all sorts of harm to them. But you say, but you see, all these kinds of things, where you go lead, lead Africa go. You know, go feel lead Africa go anywhere. That is why you see, say, so far food there. Because people, they commit crime. A lot of uh, all these leaders, they commit crime. But they don't want to make anybody talk come out. Whoever talk come out, they go want to make their press and that. It's no good. So, which kind of country be down now when it comes to say there is no law? So make me see the problem as it do. Even after this Igbo matter to you, go see the matter when we go enter. Concerning uh, the all these uh, certain people when they say they won't rule. Now the outside people now don't come at court, they say they're not gonna allow them to rule. Even as they don't sign the contract with them before, they die is that they don't talk a mouth to mouth, say they go allow the satanas to rule, say the thing they go they rotate them. But now they say no, say the ruling now. The outside people never rule for fifteen years. Say Nigeria, if certain people rule for how many years? So outside people need to rule again. No, you know the way when they just tell they take the ruling. Come people like say they know the vote. So waiting be the vote when they, they vote before. Now be saying na just to cover eye, just to make mouth. If not, they don't talk how things go. They happen with their hands. So may we continue for this Igbo on later. We will still talk about that one. Say, say anyway when they for see her, may they catch her. He said in the security cycle, a person who is named is on the top list is denied all constitutional rights and privilege is um privilege privilege a citizen is entitled to say any any rights any constitutional rights either to get past better to travel either to do anything anybody when they don't play for top list then you no go forget all this guy right in, in no matter the country when it for come so the federal government directed the uh, directive against igbo was contained in a letter by the Nigeria Immigration Service dated July 9, 2021, addressed to the Director General Department 
of State Service, the Inspector General of Police, and the DG National Intelligence Agency. He said the activist, a spearhead of the separative agitation for the Yoruba nation, had been declared wanted by the Department of State Service on allegation of a stop peeling arms to destabilize the country, which he has since denied, but has uh, whereabouts his whereabouts remain unknown. Said the one they declare wanted because of uh, the arms when they get for in house, the day when they request send secret service go arrest them. When they knock on since then now when he run, they never have seen so they declare that wanted make you can't answer the case of those arms. Arms when you <laughs> when you gather from where person not there, no camera, nothing, nothing. And the aftermath we can't see blood and all those things. If police they read for Europe, now don't say that they put camera and they video every time they happen. <laughs> so the matter is strong. Oh. He said the whereabouts of Igbo, a lead figure in the separative agitation for the Yoruba nation, has been unknown since he he narrowly escaped arrest during the July 1st midnight raid by the secret police ahead of a major rally in support of the call for Yoruba nation in Lagos. Following the bloody raid on Igbo soccer resident, the DSS arrested and detained the 13th of Igbo associates, adding that during a gun duel, it had, it had killed two of Igbo supporters, later identified as uh, Adogan and uh, Afra. The International Council Court, in the International Criminal Court, excuse me, on Thursday acknowledged a 27 Age petition flare fire filled by Yoruba nation agitation signed by the leader of Elena Omo Odua Emiratus Professor Banji Akintoye Igbo and the 49 Yoruba self determination groups said the petition was filled against the President Major General Muhammadu Buhari, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami. Son, former chief of army staff Tukan Baratia, and former inspector general of police Ibrahim Idris and the Mohammed Adamu. He said they accused the Nigerian leaders and the security chief of genocide and crimes against inhumanity against the Yoruba nation, the Yoruba people of Ekiti, or your Osu Odo Ogun Okun land in Kongi and the Kwara state. He said the NIS letter issued to facilitate Igbo's arrest was signed by behalf on behalf of the Comptroller General of Immigration by Assistant Comptroller General of Immigration, Investigation and the Compliance AB Baba. Said the letter tied to stop listening of persons and they hear me. Sunday at the Niyi, aka Sunday Igbo, mail Nigeria, passport number A11613637, date of birth 10 1972, was copied to all zonal controllers and control posts nationwide. So the passport number and everything they don't send them to the whole world. Say anybody, when in any place, when any immigration went home, say make the measure say they go produce unto Nigeria. You see their case. They don't want to make anybody talk. Come, I say it reads. I am directed to request that you kindly place the above uh, named person on stop list. Credible intelligence revealed that Adeyomi is making effort to obtain a police extract and or, or court affidavits to enable him acquire the new Nigerian passport, apparently to facilitate his escape out of the country. In addition, he should be arrested whenever and whenever, wherever and whenever he is cited, and refer to the Director General Department of State Service feed later, with the numbers when he be said they put when they tell sign them date on the fifth of uh, July, twenty twenty one. So they say in the any place when they foresee him, hmm. eh, Nigeria, Nigeria, hmm. no, no president with their yeah, with their security now. Wow. Now one for them, oh. so now so they will go on. They will just, wait till just the payment instead when they will try to defeat the problems. Waiting they cause all this will us. So they go they try to make they kill the people and be said they come out to come speak for the rest pri privilege for the less privilege. It's going not good. It's not good. 
said the NIS spokesman Amos Okuhaiva said he was not aware of the letter. He added that he had no update on the manhood for Igbo. They said they don't know where Igbo is. He said, I am not aware of the letter. He has, has Igbo has been declared wanted. Well, I don't have any information on him. So the DSS spokesperson Peter Afunaya has yet to respond to inquiries on the issues as the press time. So may they let the world know what they happen. So when I saw the matter be on my people, so when I come to say <laughs> all this uh, Nigeria matter, person not know how you go talk and reach again. Person not just know how you go talk and at all, at all, at all, at all. Now, anything now when you just talk, before you know, they don't send the police to your house. Before you know, they don't send soldiers, may they go kill you. Before you know, they don't... <laughs> Now this one, I people go there, just they leave, they go. So now, so my lovely people, we'll still continue with another news for after we make our short break. So please make sure you share the video and uh, invite your friends to follow our page. Thank you all for watching and remain blessed. Bye for now.